hello uh, welcome to this video I'll just be showing you how this school bank project that I created works so let's launch it okay so it allows you to log in with an existing account if you don't have an account you have to register so I'll just start by creating an account okay that's the first name middle name is optional last name and then uh, national ID you can just okay I'll just put some X's right now then gender male then you have to select a pin then I just enter my four digit pin then I have to confirm it then you have to enter the date of birth then um, just select a random date then address just put on something implement status then this phrase is for uh, when you lose your account details or you want trying to recover your account so I'm just gonna put um, hello this is my mini simulation project. I think that would do. Yeah, then it register. Okay, I missed the pins right here. You have to exactly match. Oh, there you go. So it shows the account details and then it assigns me this account number that I'll be using to log in. So I click OK, then let's try logging in with that account number. I think that's it. Then the PIN number. Ah, oh, perfect. As you can see, this is the username I entered, the first name, then the surname, and then the ID and the account number that I was assigned. As you can see, there's nothing in my account, so I have to make some deposit or get someone to transfer into my account so that I have some money in there. So, first of all, just make a deposit. Let's say 10,000. Then now I have to enter my PIN to verify. Then confirm. Then it shows me this notification that I have deposited 10,000 in my account. As you can see, balance reflected right here that I have disposed at 10,000 okay let's make a withdrawal let's see how we draw something like 2,000 then I have to confirm that is me with the pin then it confirms that I have withdrawn 2,000 then the balance is now 8,000 as you can see it gets oh seem to have locked out by mistake there let me re-log in Okay, then the balance is right there 8,000 so let's make a transfer so it only allows you to make a transfer to an existing account number so uh, pre this video I created an account so I'm going to transfer into that account and then we're gonna go and check if the transaction was success to that other account so I'm just gonna type in the account number here oh, this is supposed to be the money so I have to Take this for me and put it here and then I'll just transfer 5,000 then if I hit OK it then shows me the receiver's details and then this confirm button becomes active still I have to enter my PIN to verify the transaction and the transaction has been processed successfully so if I go to view bank statement it shows me all the transactions that I did you can see right here I shows me the date, the reference number, type of transaction and then the amount ready I deposited 10,000 right so it shows me that it was then I withdrew 2,000 then I transferred 5,000 so before I show you the deactivate function I'll just log out then we go to see that other account then what? then I log in then uh, let's view the bank statement okay 
there is a okay where are they what's the day today five the transfer five thousand that i just made is right here so you can check the date and then the transaction id this will match with the so like transfer in the previous account so it, it reflects here like it's a deposit and then um uh, so let's get back to that other account then login Okay, so I'm going to show you this. There's an option of deactivating your account in case you don't want it and when you want to deactivate it. So firstly, I have to confirm that is I'm the actual user. So I have to enter my account number and then the pass and then the PIN number right here. So I'm just gonna enter the account number and then, as you can see, all these other options they are not active just because i have to verify first that is me so i'll click ok then right here it shows me my account balance you can see it's 3000 3000 then i have to select an option either to withdraw the money or to make a transfer so firstly i'm just gonna show you this function of withdrawing the money so i'm just gonna take uh, withdraw 1000 then hit ok then shows me that I have withdrawn and uh, 2007 in my account and then there's an option to transfer again transfer to that other account and then enter the amount okay so if I don't select this option to transfer and I hit ok it will show me an error so I have to select this transfer first and then hit ok so 2000 then i hit okay so it shows me the receiver details and so then i click verify so right now it's going to show me that i have insufficient funds because i have 2000 left in the account and including bank charges i'm not able to transfer 2000 right away so i have to reduce this amount so i'm just gonna reduce this to like 1800 hit ok verify then the transaction will be processed then i can press either confirm deactivation or cancel in this case we want to confirm the deactivation so i'll just hit confirm and then it shows me this dialog um, that i won't be able to access the money and i won't be able to log in so if i click ok it will then deactivate but if i click cancel it doesn't deactivate so confirm then it is successfully deactivated so let's check that it is successfully deactivated by trying to log in with the credentials again and see what happens there you go so it shows me that I can no longer log into this account so that's it guys that's the small bank simulator project that I created hope you like it uh, you can get this uh, source code from my GitHub account that will be in the link description. So see ya. Happy coding.